Last week, two men who murdered a chief imposed on their tribe received amnesty from the Truth Commission. This week, the Commission's Amnesty Committee refused to give amnesty to four murderers, two white and two black. In 1991, two Fidelity Guard employees, Henny Gerber and Johan van Eyck, both ex-security policemen, tortured and killed a fellow Fidelity Guard, Samuel Ghanacha. During their murder trial, there was no mention of a political motive. Gerber and Van Eyck were sentenced to 20 and 15 years in jail, respectively. In July this year, the two men applied for amnesty. They claimed that their motive for the abduction and murder was political after all. According to Gerber, unnamed intelligence sources had informed him that Ghanacha was a PAC plant who was helping the movement steal money for its military purposes. Gerber and Van Eyck said they were sorry for the deed. But for the amnesty committee, remorse was not enough. This week, it refused them amnesty on the grounds that their act was not associated with the political objective, nor were they acting on the orders of a political grouping. What is more, their objective was self-serving because they wanted to prevent the deceased from laying a charge against them. Two other men were also refused amnesty. Both Justice Ekhopa and Tom Sankra Jackson, who said they were ANC members, applied for amnesty during the Kronstadt hearings in July. Today's only applicant, Justice Ekhopa, is serving a 27-year sentence for his part in the killings of the four victims. Evidence led at the trial indicated that the murders were particularly brutal. The white woman was raped, her eyes gouged out, and one of her breasts was hacked off. She was then set alight. Sekope said he couldn't remember those acts, but admitted the attack was severe. Justice Sekope was refused amnesty largely because he had not told the whole truth. The amnesty committee found that he did not fully disclose his participation in the killing of the four deceased. Tamsanka Jackson, who was serving 12 years for the April 1993 murder of a policeman and friend, Opa Pietras Ditabe, was also refused amnesty. It was found that he had killed in self-defense and that his act was not political.